Swan Lake has some of the most iconic and beautiful violin solos uh, in it. So does Sleeping Beauty, actually. Tchaikovsky really loved to write these amazing violin solos, but they're often only heard when you go to see the full ballet, which is great, but they don't get a life really in the concert hall. So David Halen, who's the concertmaster of the St. Louis Symphony and a very good friend and colleague of mine, had the idea to create a new piece, which would be an arrangement of uh, several of the solos from both Swan Lake and Sleeping Beauty mixed in with a couple orchestral interludes to tie it all together so we could have a, a through composed piece which would hit on a lot of the highlights. The Rochester City Ballet is of course a wonderful company right here in our hometown and uh, we work with them every year on Nutcracker which is awesome but uh, it's even better to bring them back again for another program on the Phil series. We'll be doing selections of Slavonic dances from Dvorak which are very meaty, very uh, very vibrant, very uh, virtuosic for the orchestra, lots of high energy, and I can't wait to see the choreography. Bartok's Miraculous Mandarin is one of those pieces that is so exhilarating and so creepy at the same time. It's got all these amazing scenes and sounds and sonorities in the orchestra. In fact, when it was first performed, it created a little bit of a scandal in Germany because of the subject matter. Ravel's La Valse is uh, Another one of those iconic pieces. It's full of color, it's full of velocity, drive, build, all the great things that a great composer like Ravel can do. There are tremendously exciting moments in it, and uh, of course the waltz links up with the rest of the program, the dance influence, and it'll be a fantastic way to close out a very compelling evening.